What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we're going to focus in on Julius Honka of the Swift Current Broncos, a 2014 draft eligible defenseman. Uh, he's a Finnish kid who came over. I uh, was drafted in the import draft last year, uh, 34th overall by, uh, like I said, by Swift Current. So, you know, real willingness to come over and play uh, North American hockey. You know, that's a testament to how willing this kid is to make the NHL. He's an undersized defenseman of 5'10", 180 pounds, but he's an amazing skater, probably one of the better skaters in the draft. Uh, make great offensive instincts. He has 26 points through 23 games. So for a first-year kid in the Western League to average better than a point a game on the blue line, you know, that's saying something about how skilled he is. And, uh, you know, he's put up good numbers everywhere he's played. And, uh, like I said, the transition going from the wider European ice surfaces to the smaller North American ice surfaces usually comes with a uh, massive learning curve, but that has been the case with him so far, and he's really um, living on two expectations. You know, he's got 24 pims through 23 games. Uh, definitely has a little more tenacity than I think he gets credit for, and I think that better suits him for the North American game, and, uh, you know, he's able to show that off on night and night off basis. I mean, you guys be really tough to play in the Western Hockey League. You know, he's physical, some of the most physical players in hockey are up there, and, uh, you know, for the adjustment going in Europe where they don't forecheck, I'm not going to say they don't forecheck a style, but they don't hit as hard. They don't go out of their way to be as physical, and you have more room to maneuver with the puck to, uh, you know, like I said, smaller Western Canadian ice services where some of the most intense and uh, physical forwards are coming in on you in the forecheck, and you have to make split-second decisions, um, you know, and he's, it's, like I said, exceeding expectations. Uh, the only reason I don't have him in the top ten, or, you know, a lot of people don't have him in the top ten is because of his size, I mean, but my thing is smaller defensemen have done pretty well in the NHL in the last couple of years, and, uh, you know, if you can skate and, uh, you know, aren't afraid to play with a little bit of an edge, there's a spot for you, and I can see this kid being a power play quarterback in the NHL for, you know, 10, 15 years. He has that kind of skill set. And, uh, you know, I'm curious to see what he does next year, you know, with a longer after being drafted with that learning curve out of the way. I mean, like I said, he, he, he's done fine. But next year, you know, in, a, in his second year in North America, uh, how will he take steps forward, you know, after being drafted? So that you're kind of drafting him on potential, which you are with almost all kids. But you look at what he's done in year one, can he build upon that in year two after getting acclimated to the smaller ice surfaces? And, you know, that's something you got to watch because the reality is, you know, you can get away with being a poor skater on smaller ice. He, like I said, he's a great skater, but, uh, you know, kind of, you don't have as many opportunities to uh, to showcase it. Um, as opposed to on the bigger ice where, you you know, you can skate. Or, you, you know, I, I was looking at watching college hockey, uh, the Whittemore Center at UNH. You know, some of the be I can only imagine if Kessel had played there, you know, some of the better skaters, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm curious to see what, he, what steps forward he takes, like I said. The skating is there, and the willingness to come to North America and play um, and leave Finland behind a year early, a couple years early, is a testament to his character and how bad he wants it. Uh, I'm going to root for this kid, and I can't wait to see what he does down the line. Anyway, that's all this episode of the Power Play with CJ, prospect profiles on Julius Honka of the Swift Current Broncos. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.